Anybody who ever been to Israel? You yeah. fall over? <laughs> Did you fly from here or from New York? Montreal. From Montreal. Oh, that was this is probably the same distance. I flew El Al Israeli Airlines. Now, it's a very good airline. They check everything. Every little bag, every little tissue, everything. Really, really careful. It's safe. But a woman got on the plane with a little dog, a little box, and in the box is a dog. The guy says, you can't put a dog on the plane. It's my little dog. He says, you can't put a dog on the plane. We put it in the back. But that's my little dog. It's safe. It's pressurized back there. My dog, don't worry. They put it in the back. Now, I don't know how long it took you. It took me nine and a half hours from, L from uh, JFK to Ben Gurion Airport. Nine and a half hours. Got there, they opened the box in the back. Uh -oh. The dog was dead. Uh -oh. oh, Israelis are very smart people. I got on the phone, said, get me another dog, looks like this one is quick. <laughs> they did. And they said, see? She says, that's not my dog. The guy says, how do you know? She says, because my dog is dead. I came to bury him in the Holy Land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can do magic. <laughs> do me a favor. When you put the card in the center of the pack and watch what I do. I give it one cut like this, one cut like that, and a snap. Would you believe it if I told you your card is now in my pocket? Really? Hard to believe. Watch. A little like this, a little like that. Watch it go. It's the two of spades. Am I correct? Yes. And does this have your mark on it? Yes, it, it does. It says DC, the two of spades. That's right. I have a collection of these. Do you? I'll show you very interesting. You, you know how that works? No. You think the card goes into the pack. It doesn't. Okay. It shoots up my sleeve with a rubber band arrangement. Okay. Here, a pulley takes it to the other side, and that's where the lead weight brings it into the pocket. Really? I'll slow it down for you. Look. Watch it again. Listen carefully. Did you hear the rubber band? A little bit. Yeah. Watch the pulley. There it is, to the other side. Here it comes, down into the pocket, the two of spades. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to give you all my troubles, but I just got in here a few days ago from, uh, the, I'm not going to mention the name of the airline, but I went down to the Delta booth, <laughs> and I said to the guy, I've got three bags. I want this one to come to LAX, this one to Burbank, and this one to Ontario. The guy says, I can't do that. I said, why not? You did it on my last one. <laughs> <laughs> I used to buy stock in Polaroid, and I, they, they had this fantastic, wonderful Polaroid paper. But the problem is that they could not copy these. This is American. Oh, that's a beauty. That looks real, isn't it? It is. I'm going to show you how you can duplicate these with some of my fancy paper. You take a piece like this and a piece like this, and a little bit of magic. That, did you see it happen? Actually, it did. Look at that. I've already doubled my money. I just started out with two, and now I have three. I'll do it again for you. Uh, a piece of my fancy paper, a piece of the government issue, a little bit of magic. Snap my fingers. And there it is. We've already doubled our money. So far, I've got one, two, three. I've actually got four. And by the way, this is light sensitive. You must very, very carefully. You must not get it in the light. So four and one is five. Very simple. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. How about that? Don't they look terrific? They're actually, they're really fives. I hit it one time. I asked a guy, I hit it five times. Do you know what he did? He hit it ten times. Do you know how embarrassing a thing like that can be? Now all I have is tens. You realize that I enjoy doing this kind of stuff. And you know I don't need the money. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry I have to move right away. My grandson called me, Grandpa, after your last show, please get back and come and do the frog impression. I said, what do you mean the frog impression? He says, well, Grandma said, when you croak, we can all go to Hawaii. <laughs> thank you so much. You've been a delight to talk to you.